Okay, so this is going to be a in-depth review and a bit of an analysis about Helium 10. Now, this is a tool we use every day in our Amazon agency, as well as for personal brands as well. It's super useful for a number of reasons. Um, as the name suggests, they have 10 tools. I think they actually have about 12 in there now, but you know, I'm not going to change the name of the brand. And if you have a look through their homepage, you can see a lot of what they do. They've got different areas, which we'll cover in a little bit of detail in a second. But we're going to talk about our favorites um, just because they make life so much easier. There's a good video here. Um, 26 minutes goes into each individual one in a little bit of detail. And then they also have training for each individual uh, tool or feature within the tool suite. Okay. Um, this is really handy because you don't need to specifically have 10 different softwares. Everything is in one place. And although I like the interface of some others, um, for the price differential, it's usually not worth it. We pay about 100 bucks a month. Um, I don't know if their pricing has gone up recently. Uh, no, there is a larger plan as well. But it depends on how you actually use the product. So if we hop into the actual back end, this is what it seems like. Now you have your account information up here. You can connect directly to support and Facebook and everything like that. Um, you've got your notifications as well. And these are the core tools. So you've got one, two, three, four, and then you've got two rows of four, so 12. So 12 total, like I said, not quite 10 anymore, but that proves that they are adding things to the tool suite and they don't seem to be increasing the pricing, which is a really nice touch. Now, most people are gonna know Helium 10 for this one product feature here. Now this is black box. Now, if you aren't aware, this is essentially where you can go into a different marketplace and find products that you want to sell on Amazon, okay? This is very common for people getting started or if you have a brand and you want to actually, um, say, enhance with a new product and you want to have one that, say, starts at 10,000 a month but finishes at 50,000 so you don't have too much competition. Um, with a price point between 25 and 100 and obviously you can fill all these tiers in as well I'm not going to go through because there is training up here if you click this learn button It'll play a video and as you can see you've got tons of stuff to go through um, If you hit search it will show you some core ideas So this is estimated monthly revenue um, Number of sellers etc etc. This isn't the feature that we use the most to be honest um, There are other competitors out there for this type of thing like viral launch like Jungle Scout, although they seem a little bit weaker in the marketplace at the moment. Um, but it is super useful from a niche targeting point of view as well. Um, but if you want a general idea, this is a good place to start. Okay, But not the reason that we kind of love this and pay for this every month. Um, I'm not going to go through the ones that we don't use too often, just because that's not why I think they have the most powerful um, sort of, I guess, the most powerful uses for the tool. Um, so we're going to focus on Magnet2 and Cerebro. So Magnet2 is just a keyword research, um, I guess, keyword research tool. If we type in, say, for example, um, not Amazon SEO, uh, let's say laptop stand. So we've developed a new laptop stand. You can load from history or you can do a new search. So if you've searched this before, then obviously load from history. We're going to just do a new one for the purpose of this video. And You'll see these search volumes here. Now, although these are semi-accurate, the Helium 10 and Viral Launch and all of these companies have come out recently and said that these aren't the most accurate anymore because how they used to achieve this data has been, I don't want to say filled, but essentially they used to get it through a very specific way that is no longer available. We'll just leave it at that. Um, this is really useful because what we can do is we can see all the keywords relevant to the specific search term um, as well as if they have the Amazon choice badge so we know if we rank for vertical laptop stand and we rank in first position or we implement an Amazon choice strategy which we talk about on our site if anyone has any questions um, we can actually get, generate that Amazon choice badge whereas if we rank first for book laptop stand it doesn't render so that Amazon choice doesn't actually come through so if we have a quick look with, this is a nice feature as well, just to pop out straight away into Amazon.com with the search term. And as you can see here, we've got Amazon Choice in the sponsored as well. So we can see, okay, if we rank first or second for this particular keyword, there's a high degree of likelihood that we generate this Amazon Choice badge. Whereas if we were to try and rank for book laptop stand, there, <laughs> okay, there, well, there is one rendering. So that's a little mistake on the Helium 10 part. 
but for the most part these are fairly accurate um, we'll have a quick look at this it might be rendering for a different keyword um, so there's nothing here okay so as you can see for this particular keyword there was no Amazon choice badge now this makes it quite nice when you are determining what you're gonna actually target because obviously Amazon choice does drastically impact conversions of a specific listing so if we wanted to do that we would obviously focus on those but we can the the primary tools that we use generally when it comes to the um, magnet 2 is search volume which is self-explanatory this is on a monthly basis so how many people exactly search that specific term per month so if you can imagine 8,400, if you rank first, you're going to maybe generate around 7 to 10% of that search volume in sales. So if we take 10% just for the numbers, you'd be looking at around 800 sales a month, which is not bad for one keyword. Um, it does depend on the competitors and your price and reviews and everything like that as well. Um, whereas Google, obviously, you'd be looking at 35 to 40% of traffic. With Amazon, it's much, much, much lower. Okay. The other thing that you want to do that we'll touch on in a second, which is actually my favorite part of Helium 10, and I think they need to work on it, if I'm honest, but is Cerebro. So if we type in an ASIN, let's just go and grab one. So let's say we are selling this vertical laptop stand. We rank really well. Um, we're just going to grab the ASIN up here. And we come back to this tool. Now, Cerebro is basically what you can use for reverse engineering specific keywords or competitors. Now, I personally always use it for keywords, so we're going to roll with that. Now, this is going to show us where this particular product ranks for all their keywords. Now, this is super, super valuable because instead of going through Magnet 2 and having to do all our own keyword research, we can basically say we have a product that's very similar to this. We can put the ASIN in here and we can have a look and say, okay, well, here's what they have. They rank for Amazon Choice for these two. They don't rank for this, even though we know they do now. And then here are all the keywords that they rank for. We've got over 10 pages. And if we have a look up here, total keywords, 1,875. Organic keywords, 878. Okay. So we can run through all these. We can obviously download these as well and say, okay, what are the highest search volumes? So we've got Mac stand. We can note that down. MacBook stand. We've got laptop vertical stand. We've got laptop holder. It might not be too relevant. But as you can see, some people might be coining a holder as to officially hold it up so again if your product does that very very relevant and that's one that you might have missed just from either coming up with keyword research yourself or by let's say you know using magnet 2 but not knowing the full capacity of the other side which is this cerebro side okay um, this is actually my favorite part because it actually shows the organic ranking of these specific keywords which is from an SEO background, our agency is an SEO agency, we, we just love this because we can come in and we can say, okay, well, we can rank you very easily from fifth to first if you already rank fifth, okay? So MacBook Pro stand, although it's a low search volume, going from fourth to first, very, very easy, very, very quick, positive ROI. Same for Surface Pro stand, same for anything. And if we go through to say page three, we can have a look at some of the keywords that are not quite there for you. So these are going to be usually more competitive ones or things they might not have optimized for. So if we say laptop stands for desk, for example, we can actually search this and see that they haven't even said it on the page or in the description anywhere. Okay. So just from adding that one keyword into their description, they're going to improve their rankings. It's not going to be crazy amount, but usually 10 to 20%. So you're going to go into 14th, 15th for all of these keywords. Obviously, be careful about making it read well. Don't over-optimize. But that's a massive amount of quick wins for a product that is already doing a high amount. On that note, we'll use um, Helium 10, which should still be up here somewhere. Yep. Now, this is their X-ray feature. So this is essentially their product research. This is showing you what they believe this product will make per month. So if we have a look, we can see that they think this will make around 20K a month, okay? The bestseller rank is always accurate because that's what they base all these figures off. And the rating and reviews, as you can see, if we go across here, they've got 328 reviews with an average of five. So a really good, strong product this looks like. Very tough to beat from a new product launch point of view, but once you are there, very, very profitable. Okay, so what, how we reverse engineer this is we say, okay, well, we know that 20K approximately, we have products that are way 
overvalued here and way undervalued. So you do have to take these numbers with a grain of salt. But let's say 20K in organic revenue calculates directly to the rankings of all of these specific terms. If we come in and we reverse engineer the most successful ones and re-optimize for those, we can basically rank without too much effort and take part of this 20K and basically assign it to your product. Um, it does take a little bit of time, of course, but this is why this, in my opinion, is one of the strongest products on Amazon at the moment in terms of sellers, seller softwares to use. Um, there's just so much information, there's so much data. Things like laptop riser, a very large keyword in terms of search volume, and probably something that potentially the older generation are searching when they don't know laptop stand means that you know conceptual view. But again, loads of really cool keywords in here. And if you imagine doing this for your entire product range, you can get a lot of quick wins just from doing some on-page optimization. Which brings me nicely on to where are we going? So there's a couple here, actually. If we have a look at Scribbles, this is what I was going to talk about. This is essentially where you can ensure that you have a specific phrase inside of your title, bullet points, etc. So let's say we are selling laptop stands, but we also want to say uh, laptop stand, and we also want to say laptop riser, for example. Um, we can see that we want to get the words in as well as the phrases. So when we're building out our copy here, um, we may want to say, okay, um, let's say vertical, vertical laptop stand. And then what's going to happen is they're going to be removed from the list. Okay. So in the bullet point, we might want to say laptop riser, oops, laptop riser. And then it, again, this is going to be removed. This is going to be removed. And then we can say something like here, our stands, and then talk about our great, and then stands has been removed. And then maybe down here or in the description, we might want to say laptop stands, potentially even in the search terms. So once we've put all those in, you can see all our phrases and words are ticked off. And now we can copy and paste this across into the live Amazon listing. Okay. You can also import listings across. So if we wanted to import, it will overwrite everything. We can say yes, we can copy this ASIN. If we go and find that again. And again, this is a feature that we really like, but it's not one we use on a daily basis, just because sometimes this can be a little bit clunky. Um, but it is nice to ensure that if you've done your keyword research, you either from Magnet2 or Cerebro, you've pulled it into this area, and then you've written all of your copy, and you still have a number of words that you aren't optimized for, it's really important to remember to actually add those in. Okay. So you can see they've covered all of theirs, apart from stands and riser on their own. So this particular client, even just from adding, let's say, laptop riser, they're saying via this tool, so that's a different product, that it's not on this page and it doesn't look to be. So just from adding that, they'll go from position, I believe it was in the 20s, up to most likely position 14 and 15, just from making that very small change. Okay. And these are one of, you know, two or three tools that we use because we focus on on page optimization and SEO and rankings on the Amazon side. But even if you're running a business, using things like alerts, using things like Inventory Protector, Refund Genie, I'm not a huge fan of misspelling it, to be honest. Um, and obviously keyword tracking, super, super important because if you don't know where you're ranking for specific terms, you really can't actually rank, okay? So if you're interested in the tool, feel free to click the link below. Also, check out our Amazon SEO guide if you're wondering what all of this means and you're a little bit confused. That should help you as well. Okay, 